Nick, Labor says, you know, no one's interested in, in building nuclear power. We don't need to get rid of the prohibition. The coalition says get rid of the prohibition. You'll see exactly who might be interested in building it. I broke this story on, on, on Monday night, the report that hit the Financial Times in London, that 14 major banks announced by John Podesta as the White House climate advisor have now moved to say they are aggressively going to fund nuclear power. This for Australia is a game changer. Yeah, it's a game changer for the world, Peter. I mean, this is a real, real significant turnaround by the banks, which were heavily backing renewables, uh, and also by big tech, particularly Microsoft, which, as you know, is sinking another billion dollars uh, to reopen the Three Mile Island reactor. Uh, because they need that power for AI and storage and all those things. So I think there's been a, a, a sort of a, a, a moment of realisation. Reality has hit the, high, the tech industry and the financial sector to, to show them that they cannot get to their, achieve their climate goals, nor can they prepare their economies for the 21st century with the added demand for reliable electricity. It's a massive turnaround. This will benefit, of course, Peter Dutton, and Labor now is looking all over the place on this question. Look at this a shocking statistic in Queensland. This is in the June quarter alone. Ten and a half thousand working days were lost to industrial disputation just in Queensland. Next closest state, WA, four and a half thousand days lost. Casual workers working on Melbourne's $26 billion North East Link all connected to the CFMEU, are earning as much as $300,000 a year. Jono, this is why you got to crack down on the CFMEU. Oh, absolutely, Peter. There is not a person out there doing it tough at the moment that thinks that anything of those stats, including, frankly, the obscene levels of pay uh, you've just outlined, is in any way reasonable. I mean, it reminds me of sort of the dying days of the automotive industry in Australia where you had people at the end of the production line laying the carpet mats in the uh, freshly made vehicles earning six figures of pay. I mean, no wonder we have industries in decline. We price ourselves out of the market and these people who are doing so well out of these union agreements and with union aggression do themselves out of a job. So yes, we do need a tough cop on the beat and Labor uh, simply doing what their paymasters ask for and letting these people uh, you know, run riot around the place. And so we all pay the price. Thank you, gentlemen. Apologies, short and sweet tonight. Terrific insights as always. I'll catch up with you next week.